And to Venezuela now, which is facing the world's deepest recession. The government has cut imports and the currency is collapsing. At a time when many can't afford food, education and arts tend to take a back seat. But as Stephen Gibbs reports, one dance school is determined to go on. It may look near perfect, but those in the know can tell that something's not right in this ballet school. For years, its uniform has been green and pink. But like many things in this country, lycra in those colors is impossible to find. So new arrivals wear black. It's just one example of how Venezuela's drastic cut in imports really does reach every corner of life here. El desarrollo del ballet en Venezuela se ha hecho un poco complicado en los últimos tiempos por la situación económica. Developing ballet in Venezuela has been a bit difficult recently because of the economic situation here. The cost of the dollar, the exchange rate, means we can't import things like ballet shoes and uniforms. All of that is in dollars and the exchange rate makes it all very expensive. Shoes are a particular challenge. Notoriously delicate, they can last just 15 days. The younger ballerinas use simple versions made in Venezuela. But professional shoes have to be imported and are now unaffordable for most. All this does beg a question. Shouldn't a country which is struggling to import enough food to provide for its people just stop worrying about things like ballet. No, if you develop the culture and education of children, then the development of the country will follow. With that in mind, an international ballet competition is still held every year in Venezuela. Partly owing to security fears, this year just one foreign competitor from Costa Rica took part. The show went on nevertheless. For the dancers and their nervous coaches, art is the purest distraction from the real world outside. These three days have been magical. We have all forgotten for a moment everything that is happening in this country. Art is magical. I think it can help find solutions to many problems. And it's good for the heart, too. Reaching the pinnacles of this art form, they say, is all about determination, even sacrifice. That's particularly true in Venezuela. Stephen Gibbs, CCTV, Caracas.